my father encounter my life today in a new way in the name of Jesus pray that prayer pray that prayer you need a fresh encounter with the Lord this morning in Jesus mighty name we pray praise the name of the Lord so this morning I take the life class again praise the Lord for some time now we'll be talking about uh, uh, the kingdom lifestyles things you see in the life of people who are members of the kingdom of God and things you don't see in their lives started by talking about the way they talk talk and then after we dealt with that we started talking about the character of people that are children of God praise the name of the Lord things you need to see things you must not see in their life this morning I'm talking about ingratitude that is the title ingratitude ingratitude what does it mean is the opposite of gratitude it makes so grateful it makes you know lack of appreciation um, you know poor attitude to kindness um, that is what is referred to as ingratitude and when you're talking about ingratitude um, it could be to God or to men to God or to men. In the book of Luke chapter 17, it, we read the story about 10 lepers in that place. Luke chapter, te, chapter 17, we begin to read from verse 11. We read about 10 lepers that Jesus healed. Jesus healed 10 lepers. You know, he just told them, go and show yourself to the priest. And the Bible recorded that as they were going, they found out that they were healed. And one of them said, ah, I mean, let me go and thank the person that healed me. Out of ten, the Bible said, only one person went back. And the Bible said that that person was even a Samaritan. I've preached about this before, so let me go that uh, route this morning. So, people that are grateful especially to God, are very, always very few. That's why you see people don't come receive something from God. They don't come out to share testimonies. And then later they are, they are shouting to God. Hey, I want, I, the last one I gave to you, you have, have you thanked me? That's why many people don't receive uh, much from God because they don't appreciate God. Only one. And Jesus lamented. He said, why are there not ten that were healed? Why are there not ten that were healed? He said, but okay, be thou made whole. So God gave him more being healed. When somebody's been made, I mean, everything about his life is done. Fin you know, all the, uh, the, the finance area, everything about him, family, marriage, everything is completely done. Just because he went back, you know, to show appreciation. Many don't do that. And that's why they don't receive much from God today. You also have ingratitude to men. In, someone has been nice to you. Someone has done good things for you. And you know this person has done good things for you. You don't have the attitude of appreciation. You don't have the attitude of thanking the person. You know, many people actually see, you know, act of kindness as rights. As rights. And that's why they don't go far. That's why they don't go far. You see, act of kindness is my right. And you don't get another one. You don't get another one. Gratitude opens doors for blessings, beloved. But ingratitude shuts the door against someone. Someone said that ingratitude is the worst offense. While gratitude is one of the greatest Christian virtues. If you look at what we see, the Bible recorded that ingratitude is one of the things that will last day. We're in the last day. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 talks about that. So in the last day, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, 
unthankful. Unthankful. There are so many people, even in the church, have that spirit of appreciation. And that's why they don't go far. That's why they don't go far. Some little things for you. You can't go and appreciate. You can't go and thank. In fact, as a matter of fact, what we see today is people paying back good with evil. But my Bible tells me something in the book of Proverbs 17, 13, that he who returns evil for good, he said evil will never depart from their own house. Evil. Maybe you are here this morning now, say you are a child of God. Someone has done you good things and you are paying back the good with evil. The Bible says evil will not depart from the house of that person. You need to understand. Many people are passing through some things. They don't know what led to that. They caused it. Because somebody has been nice to you. Somebody has helped you before. Instead of you to be praying for them, you are even praying that they should go down. Or you repay the good things that they have done for you for evil. And that's why bad things will continue to happen to some people. What many of us don't know is that you know, what comes around will always go around. You know, there was a particular person that they brought here. They brought this person, bless, aimless, dropped out of school, not doing anything. We accepted him, taught him, helped him, trained him, and then we posted him. You know, he became a minister, and we posted him somewhere. When he got to where we posted him to, he started pulling us down here. He started going about talking to members. Ah, you better leave that place. You better, don't you know, this, he almost scattered the church. And when I saw what this person did, I prayed, he would just die. But I just said, no, I won't pray. I, I'm just, because, you know, as the thing came to me, if I opened my mouth to say, we helped you. You were roaming about the streets. Doing nothing. And we helped the person. And the person went away. Suddenly, himself somewhere. Let me not talk about that. And uh, one day, he got to a level. And they said, no, for all of you to get this thing, go and get letter from Pastor Shola. <sighs> so he came. My wife and I were there outside the country. He came. He prostrated on the floor. I said, I have offended you. Please, cut him. What should I do? That's why the life of a pastor is a very difficult life. <laughs> so I, I look at my wife. I almost cry. I said, we will forgive him. Because if I have said no, his life was granted. And I could have said no. But I just said, you know what? Uh, I say, ah, okay, let him, let him go. Let him go. And then he started, my wife, my wife to him that day, said, you, you, with all the things we did for you, look at what, you scattered the church and you left, thinking that something is not, let me tell you something, please, let's be careful what we do. Hey, children of God, you have to be careful what you do. You know, my wife talked to him very well that day, he now came to say, daddy, you are a man of God. With what I did for you, if you could still do this for me, you are a true man of God. Many of us don't understand what you, you will pay for it later. We have some people also come here from nowhere. We help them. They started, you know, who are paying their fees. Paying their fees, paying their fees, paying their fees. The first one, immediately he graduated. He was a minister, immediately he graduated. Ran away. Ran away ungrateful people. When you were nowhere, you had nothing. We took you in. We were training you. We were paying your house rent, paying everything. Immediately you graduated. You now left the church. By the fingers that felt them. Many people, that's why their life are granted. Good things don't happen to ungrateful people in life. I'm telling you. So you need to change your mind. If you are that kind of person, change because something is waiting for you at the throne. We are about to get to the throne. And then they came. 
But let me confess. No, I'm a pastor. I have to tell you. That man, even though I cleared him, the head of the place that is my friend, I said, look, watch him. He can destroy everything. I don't want to stop his life. If he has changed, but if you find out that he has not changed, sack him. I cleared him, but I still told the man, I said, I'm sorry. I, this man, he scattered my church. Please, watch him. Put eyes on him. He said, but you cleared him now. You, are, you shouldn't have cleared him. I said, no, I cleared him because he could have repented. So I cleared him. So please, we all need to watch our character. Don't just be coming to church and they can't see the virtue of God in you. They help you in a place. It may be a place of work. They help you and all that and you go there and put the place down. Or somebody that has helped you before. You now maybe you are now you now have some power. The person that the Bible tells me they are evil will not depart from the hands of that person. I'm praying for everyone here this morning. The Lord wants you to get to where you are supposed to get to in the name of Jesus Christ. You must have good, good, you know, good, good, good habits. There must be some people who see and say, No, this one is a child of God. When somebody has been kind to you, have the courtesy of saying thank you. Have the courtesy of being the person. There are some people now, the church, we are assisting them in paying school fees and all that. This church, we pay school for a lot of people. What happened? Recently, I now found out that I gave it to somebody to go and investigate for me. We found out that some of the people that were paying the school fees, they have left the church. When it's time for school fees, they come to collect. I say, ha. Ah. People are terrible. And you have many of them, they don't just care. Attitude of saying, ah, ah, I wouldn't have been able to send my child to this if not for to say thank you is not in them. I was about to stop one, but I now say, who has sinned here? Is it the children? Or the, is it the parents that have sinned? Let the children go. Those children can become someone, something, you know, someone very great in future. We should not stop their destiny. It's their parents. People are ungrateful, unthankful. You know, they don't have the spirit. If it's a little thing, the Read the secret grace, the secret of greatness is gratitude. Make sure you change your mind from today and the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes and begin to just talk to God. Say, oh Lord, give me the spirit of gratitude in the name of Jesus.